the way I, sorry, during the 80s, early 90s, I, I described it to people, it says the best way of describing it is uh, my job was flying jets in the Royal Air Force. My hobby was playing rugby. Yeah. Albeit a handful of times a year, you played rugby for England at Twickenham. <laughs> Uh, but I literally would play, you know, as, 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 there's this picture of me running down the wing at Twickenham and I say, yeah, I got paid 12p a mile for doing that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, expenses. <laughs> so um, so the rugby career, you know, I, I finished my rugby career in 1999. I did 14 years at Tigers, did two years uh, at Bedford before I eventually retired. And it was the advent of professional rugby. Rugby came in 95, 96. By the time I got to 99, I'm getting older and slower and people are getting fitter because they're, they're training full time. So mm. it was, it was um, pretty much written in the stars. Um, my flying career, I went through the flying training system and got as far as the tornado and did the start of the tornado conversion unit. Um, unfortunately, during the course, I failed the course and was um, sent on to fly the Canberra. So I spent six and a half years at Witten flying the Canberra. Uh, T17 on 360 squadron, so the spottos will want to, you know, <laughs> they'll go and look it up, whatever. Yeah. So flying in an ECM role, um, and then I transferred from 100, uh, 360 squadron onto 100 squadron, which is flying the Hawk. Hawk is the same aircraft as what the Red Arrows fly, so it's very right. similar, just not painted red. Um, so I flew for them for four and a half years. I then ended up doing a three and a half year uh, ground tour, so flying a desk, as we say. Um, and I got involved in human factors uh, training in the Royal Air Force then and also as a station flight safety officer. And really that, that three years then was really a formative time that paved the way for me to do what I'm doing now. Mm. I got trained as a, as a facilitator, I got trained in human factors um, training, um, and also in um, flight safety, uh, the, obviously the flying version of health and safety. And uh, that really sort of shaped my thinking around the whole context of human performance from a flying perspective, but how to apply it from a, a business perspective. And then uh, I finished that tour and then I finished my last three years flying the Domini out of Cranwell, which is why I ended up in this area again. It was a, um, it's like a small executive jet we used for, for, for training navigators and uh, rear crew, air crew. So I, f I finished that primarily, I, I got, managed to get myself on that job because I was trying to get my ATPL license because I was planning to go and just leave at uh, 38 and go and join BA. That was my right. plan to go and be a jumbo jet pilot. And um, circumstances, when I finished playing rugby in 98, 99, I knew that I was coming to the, you know, any money that I was earning by the time it was professional, I was earning a bit of money on the side from playing rugby and various things, you know, suddenly would sort of start dwindling as, mm. you, as you come to the end of your career. Long story short, a couple of sort of reaching out and various things. I, I got speaking to a, a guy at the time who was a uh, CEO of uh, Unipart, um, part of the Unipart uh, empire and um, we got talking about stuff and I told him what I was thinking of doing and he said right I want you to do a uh, proposal for me so I had a couple of people friends of mine who we were talking about doing something and this came up so we thought we'd give it a go and suddenly in the space of four months we went from nothing to forming a company putting some ideas together putting a proposal together and like how do you write a proposal how do you cost a proposal how do you write a proposal <laughs> um, to winning the business delivering it being told we were really good and there being money in the bank. And it was like, oh my God. And it, it was just like four, six months, something like that. And that, that really suddenly was another sort of um, uh, changing direction of my whole out of the business when we sort of thought, yeah, this is, enjoyed doing it. People think we're quite good. We mm. think we've got something here. Um, so, um, so I left the Air Force in 2001 and we made a go of it. And we, we ran the company until 2008. 2009 when obviously we had the crash which caused mm. all sorts of problems yeah. um, and I just decided at the time that uh, it was probably a good time for me to decide to go on my own so I decided to leave the business uh, then and set up my own business Wingman as well and so uh, that's Wingman we started in uh, April of 2009 so we're coming up for uh, say 11 years now. Wow fantastic.